this is Gary Gomez. I'm a photographer based in Atlanta, Georgia, and I specialize in architecture and interiors. I'm doing a little bit of light retouching on this photo here, and uh, there's a little bit of an issue with some discoloration on this wood accent wall. You can see it's a little bit um, gray over here, and it's not quite as rich of a tone on the wood as we see in the rest of the accent wall. So I went ahead and did some color correction on that. If we turn the layer on, you can see the work that I've done there, and I think it looks a good bit better. It's subtle and natural looking, and it doesn't look like I've done anything to it. So I wanted to show you really quickly how we make that happen. So we'll turn this layer off and we'll start by adding a new layer. And the first thing that I do is I change the color, uh, I change the layer blend mode to color blend mode. And what color blend mode does is it lets you paint in any color that you want without affecting the textures and the luminosity and the highlights and shadows of the pixels. So it strictly affects the colors of the pixels, but nothing else. And the reason why that's so important here is because this is a textured surface. It has wood grain on there that we need to retain all of the detail uh, for. And by using the color blend mode, we're going to do exactly that. So the first step that you need to do is make a selection of the area that you're going to work on. I do that using the pen tool, and I've already made that selection and saved it. So I will just reselect it there. And you see I've carefully gone around the pillow and the couch, and I've been really meticulous about where that selection needs to be so that I don't brush colors onto items that I don't want to. So now that the selection is made, we just need to select the color that we're going to paint with. And we do that by holding down the I key on our keyboard, and that gives us the little eyedropper icon. And wherever you place that, if you just click, it's going to sample that color. And then we'll go back to the brush tool. And using a low flow, I have it set to 3% here, um, we'll just start brushing that color in. And you can see right away, it makes a pretty big difference on the overall color. Now, naturally, wood grain in particular has lots of different shades to it. That's part of what grain looks like uh, on wood. So we're just going to select from a different area, and we'll just selectively paint in the different color to sort of make it look a little bit more natural so it's not so monochromatic where we've painted. And I think that looks pretty good. If we turn that layer off and back on, you can see we've made a pretty dramatic difference. And just to take it one step farther to sell the overall effect, I'm going to reduce the opacity on here just until, I don't know, somewhere around 80% or so looks pretty good. And by doing that, we're just sort of making the effect a little less heavy handed. We're still filling in the color where we need to, but by reducing the opacity, um, it's looking the edit look a little more believable. I think I might be able to come up just a little bit more on that. Something like that. When we turn it off and back on, you can really see the overall effect. So that's color blend mode. And just to show you the difference that that can make, if we go back to normal blend mode, all we've done, actually we'll increase the opacity all the way. All we've done is we've literally just painted over the wood and we're only applying color, just like it would happen if you were literally painting with paint on a canvas. Um, and that doesn't look very good. We're losing all the texture because we're obviously covering it up with the paint. So by changing the color blend mode to color, you can see we are retaining all of the detail. And if I turn the layer off up close, you can see that we haven't lost any of that detail. So anyway, this is a trick that I use all of the time when I'm editing. Um, it's a big part of my color correction workflow, and it works on all different kinds of surfaces. You can use it on all wood grain, on furnitures, on fabrics, anything that has a texture to it that you need to retain the detail in. Color blend mode works really great. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you find this to be a useful trick. And if you want to see a little bit more, I have a full tutorial series available with 35 videos and just about five hours of content. And it takes you through the art and the business of real estate photography. And I do cover a bunch of these retouching topics in there as well. If you're interested in that, you can check it out at masteringrealestatephotography.com. 
Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything else you want to see, also let me know and I might be able to make a follow-up video for that as well. Thanks. Bye.